What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm about to hit up Goodwill just to see what I can find to sell on eBay and on Poshmark and I tell you guys all the time I go to these Goodwills just about every day just to see all the new inventory that comes in so if you guys are trying to do this thing full time you got to treat it like a business and just try to be as consistent as possible but without further ado let's get into it. Alright y'all, so the first thing I came across was this cycling saddle from the brand Specialized and I have some experience selling these saddles. I sold maybe two or three in the past for about 40 to 50 bucks and this one should sell somewhere around that price range as well. So I'm definitely going to be picking this one up. So if you guys don't sell cycling saddles, if you come across it, definitely do, do some research and you might want to pick those up because they usually do sell for some decent profit. Next up was this, uh, I really did like the, the color blocking on this jacket. The brand was something I'm not familiar with. It said Cape Horn Weatherwear. But like I said, the color blocking led me to believe that this might be a vintage piece. And even though I don't sell a ton of vintage stuff, I'm trying to just uh, familiarize myself a little more with it. So I, I did some more research on this, made sure that it was in good condition first before I even pulled out my phone. But once I realized this was in really good shape, I checked the comps and sadly enough, only one of these has sold in the last 90 days. And I just didn't want to take a chance on picking that one up. So if it's still here during the 50% off, I might take a chance on it. Next was this jacket from Swingster. Now I know for sure that this is a vintage piece. I'm somewhat familiar with this brand because I sold, uh, I believe it was an NFL team. I don't remember if it was the 49ers or the Raiders, but I sold a jacket very similar to this, that swishy material. And that one sold for about 60 bucks. Now I'm not familiar with Trick Flow Racing, but I'm definitely going to be grabbing this one up. Only because this is something I don't find often and I, I, at the very least I'll make maybe 30 or 40 bucks. It might be way more, might be way less, but I'm definitely going to grab this one up. So drop a comment if you guys are familiar with that uh, jacket. Next, you guys, if you guys follow the channel, you know I always come across these Affliction tees. And they usually sell for about 15 to 20 bucks for me on Poshmark and on eBay. So this one... 250 I'm definitely going to be grabbing this one up kind of a no-brainer for me um not a ton of profit but they usually do sell pretty quickly for me especially when it's in a larger size so i'm gonna go ahead and just pick this one up for 250 next was a very dope find this one isn't vintage but i guess you can call this a retro t-shirt because uh pack sun and uh guess they they basically re-release these type of styles and these shirts sell in pack sun for like 40 to 50 bucks uh, online the resale market i'll probably get maybe 25 to 30 bucks so like i said not vintage but super dope still and i'll definitely be grabbing this one up Next one is a true vintage t-shirt and this one had a really nice large graphic on the front of some eagles and it was even dated. It said 1992 on the front and it even had a single stitch on, on the sleeve. So these are all very common um, signs of a true vintage t-shirt and I don't find a lot of these. I don't know if my area people just grab them up very quickly or if it's just not as popular in my area. Who knows? But this one I'm definitely going to be grabbing this one up. I might get maybe 25, 30 bucks. Um, You'll see. I'm definitely going to pick it up anyway, though. Next was this Armani Exchange Polo. And I've sold um, Armani Exchange pieces in the past for about 20 to 25 bucks. Um, the ones that I usually do pick up have a little more a um, little more styling to it, a little more logos, a little more logo recognition. This one was pretty simple, so I'm probably going to pass on this, but I usually get maybe 20 to 25 bucks for Armani Exchange uh, pieces for men. Now we got this uh, soccer jersey. Um, I actually have a similar soccer jersey from this team. I'm not going to butcher their name because I don't know how to say it. But I have a jersey still in my, I believe it's in on my eBay store. Um, and it's been sitting for a very, very long time. So I don't know if I'm actually going to want to pick this one up. And the downside to this one is that it's been washed so much that the the sizing information is is washed off so that's that that kind of sucks for this one but the date on the inside is 2007 so not a true vintage piece but it is what it is um this one is authentic so these are just some telltale signs to be on the lookout for because they really do make a lot of fake um adidas jerseys so definitely just be on the lookout for some of those telltale signs next up is a pair of track pants and if this was my size, I would have definitely grabbed this up for the personal collection. This one is a size large. I probably would sell these for about 25 to 30 bucks on Poshmark. 
these usually sell pretty quickly for me and because it's black and yellow and fall is coming right now and people are looking for more like uh longer pants and stuff like that track pants i'll probably be grabbing this one up just because i know it will sell pretty quickly for me not a ton of profit but it will be a quick flip next is actually a pair of vintage adidas pants so i'll definitely show you guys the tag and just some of the stuff to look out for because these pants sell maybe about 25 to 35 bucks for me depending on the size and just this is the vintage tag so you guys will be able to see that one but like i said depending on the size um i usually get a little more now this is a size small so it it says size small, but it probably fits like a medium or like a large. So I'm definitely going to be scooping this one up. Put this up on the Poshmark closet as well, and we will see how fast it sells. Because their pants, I believe both both of these pants were $5.99 each. And last but not least, I came across some mannequins, and this was super dope. Now, if I put everything on mannequins, if that, if that was how my aesthetic was, I would absolutely grab these. Now, the downside to this is the fact that they were asking for a ton of money, but I'm not surprised because my goodwill lately has been kind of chirping with the prices. As you guys can see, they were asking 50 bucks for these mannequins, and even though they were brand new in the box, 50 bucks is way too much for me. So this isn't even something I would take a risk when it comes to putting on Craigslist because, like I said, 50 bucks is just way too much all right y'all that's all i got for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as you guys know i usually don't source for specific pieces like vintage or anything like that i usually don't even sell a lot of vintage pieces because i hardly ever find it but i'm really just trying to expand my knowledge because vintage pieces right now is very trendy and a lot of people are searching for it online so i'm definitely just trying to have it in stock as much as possible and just trying to expand my knowledge because like i said i'm in these thrift stores and garage sales all the time so sometimes i might come across something that's really nice really expensive but if i'm not knowledgeable on it i usually will pass on it so i'm just trying to avoid those same mistakes and i suggest you guys do the same thing so i'll see you guys in the next one peace I'm tight and now I'm off this I'm shit. Tight, I'm off this you shit. should wanna.